Hello, dear student. We are continuing our lecture, and today we discuss about chronic diseases of the small intestine, chronic diseases of the large intestine, irritable bowel syndrome, and non-specific colitis. So let's start. And some information about anatomy of small intestine. Small intestine uh, lies between the stomach and the large intestine and includes the duodenum, eunum, and ileum. Small intestine is so called because its uh, lumen diameter is smaller than that of the large intestine, mm -hmm. uh, although it's longer in length than uh, the large intestine. The duodenum continues in the eunum and the duodenum eunal junction of flexure, which lies to the left of uh, lumbar to vertebra and is fixed to the retroperitoneum by a suspensory ligament of trace. The inferior mesenteric vein IMV lies to the left of the duodenum eunal junction. Uh, there are several peritoneal fossa around the duodenum you know, lecture, which may be sites of an internal herniation of the small bowel. As the rest of the small intestine is a, a four, six meter long convoluted tube occupying the center of the abdomen and the pelvis, surrounded of the two sides and above by the colon. Uh, the ileum continues into the large intestine and the iliot circle junction. The small intestine is differentiated from the large intestine by the presence of a pedentary and the absence of the tenia coli and appendicides epiploc, which are present in the colon. As a demarcation between uh, the, the union and the ileum is not very clear. Uh, the main function of the small intestine are secretion and absorption. The epithelial cells of the small intestine secrete enzymes which suggest uh, him in the smallest particles, making them available for absorption. Con concurrently, the duodenum function to mix food with the bile and the pancreas enzyme uh, to continue the digestion of the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Concerning abs absorption, carbohydrates and proteins are absorbed in the duodenum and the eunum respectively. The eunum also functions to absorb most fats. The ileum function involves absorption of vitamin B12, bile salts and all digestion products which were not absorbed in duodenum and eunum. All three small intestine segments absorb water and electrolytes. And celiac disease. What is celiac disease? It is a common cause of malabsorption of one or more nutrient, also known as celiac sprue or gluten sensitive enteropathy. It is a chronic disorder of the digestive tract that results in an inability to tolerate gliadin, the alcohol soluble fraction of gluten. Gluten is a protein commonly found in wheat, rye, and barley. Uh, most patients with celiac disease tolerate oats, but they should be monitored closely. When people with celiac disease ingest gliadin, the mucosa of the intestines is damaged uh, by immunologically mediated inflammatory response resulting in maldigestion and malabsorption. Mm -hmm. Celiac disease result <coughs> from a combination of immunological responses to an environmental factor and genetic factor. Genetic factor, genetics uh, play an important role in celiac disease. The incidence of celiac disease in relatives of patients with celiac disease is significantly higher than in the general population. The prevalence in first degree relatives of patients with celiac disease is approximately 10%. Concordance of the disease in monozygotic twins are approached 
75% uh, and is approximately 30% for first degree relatives. And fact about immune mechanisms. Uh, the interaction of alcohol soluble gliadin in wheat, barley, and rye with the mucose of the small intestine is crucial to the pathogenesis of celiac disease. Endogenous tissue uh, trans glutaminase deamides glutamine is gliadin, converting in from a neuro to a negatively charged protein. Negatively charged gliadin has been shown to induce interleukin-15 in the enteric epithelial cells, stimulating the proliferation of the natural killer cells. Uh, gliadin uh, can produce symptoms and the histological change in the small intestine when administered to patients with asymptomatic celiac disease. <clears throat> Antigliadin antibodies can frequently be identified in untreated patients. Immunoglobulin A antibodies to smooth muscle endomyosin and tissue transglutaminase uh, are used for serological diagnosis. However, 3-5% uh, of all patients with celiac disease are immunoglobulin A deficient. Therefore, determined total immunoglobulin A prior to antibody testing is appropriate in patients with celiac disease. And uh, pathophysiology of celiac disease. A strong association exists between celiac disease and two human leukocytes antigen, uh, HLA haptoplase DQ2 and DQ8. Damage to the small intestine mucosa occurs with the presentation of gluten derived peptide gliadin consisting of uh, 33 amino acids by the uh, HLA molecules to help T cells. <coughs> uh, help T cells mediate the inflammatory response. Uh, endogenous tissue transglutaminase uh, deamidase gliadin into a negatively charged protein increasing its immunogenicity. Antibodies uh, type 2 uh, transglutaminase is a hallmark of celiac disease. <clears throat> Absence of intestinal uh, villi and uh, Latinin of the intestinal crypts characterizes the mucosal lesions in untreated celiac disease. More lymphocytes infiltrate the epithelium. Destruction of the absorptive surface of the intestine leads to a maldigestion and a malsorption syndrome. <clears throat> the small uh, the hallmark of celiac uh, disease is an abnormal small intestine biopsy and the response of the condition to the elimination of gluten from the diet. Histological changes have a proximal to distal intestinal disruption of severity, which probably reflect the exposure of the intestinal mucosa to the uh, varied amount of dietary gluten. <clears throat> Pathophysiology of diarrhea. As a diarrhea, celiac disease has several pathogenetic mechanisms. Diarrhea may be secondary to first, steatorrhea, which is primary a result of change in a, a uinal uh, mucosal function. Second, secondary lactose deficiency. A, Consequence of change is a unal brush border enzymatic function. Third, bile acid malabsorption resulting in bile acid infused fluid secretion in the colon. And uh, fourth, endogenous fluid secretion resulting from crypt hyperplasia. Celiac disease patient with more severe in woman may improve temporarily with dietary lactose and fat restriction while awaiting the full effect of total gluten restriction, <clears throat> which continues uh, primary therapy. Uh, the manifestation of untreated celiac disease can be divided into gastrointestinal symptoms and extra intestinal uh, 
uh, symptoms. So what is gastrointestinal symptoms? Diarrhea is the most common symptom in untreated celiac disease and is present in 45-85% uh, of all patients. Diarrhea caused by celiac disease is due to, to the maldigestion and malabsorption of nutrients. <clears throat> the stools might be watery or semi-form, light tan or gray, and oily or frozy. The stools have a characteristic full odor. In infants and young children, extensive diarrhea can lead to severe dehydration, electrolyte depletion, and metabolic acidosis, malabsorption of ingested fat, and result in the delivery of excessive dietary fat to the large bowel. This results in the production of hydroxyphate acids by bacteria, which causes secretion of fluid in the intestinal lumen. Flatlands and uh, borborygmus are result from the release of gas by the intestinal bacterial flora feasting of uh, undigested and unabsorbed food materials, and often becomes excessive of even explosive. Weight loss is variable because some patients might compensate for the malabsorption by increasing their dietary intake. Weakness and fatigue are usually related to the general poor nutrition. In some patients, severe anemia can contribute to fatigue. Occasionally, severe hypokaliemia due to the loss of potassium in the stool can cause muscle weakness. <coughs> Severe abdominal pain in unusual patients with uncomplicated celiac disease, however, abdominal bloating of cramps with excessive uh, malodorous letters in a common complaint. And information about extra intestinal syndromes. Anemia is usually due to the impaired absorption of iron or folate from the proximal small intestine. <clears throat> Severe celiac disease with ileal involvement absorption of vitamin B12 may also be impaired. Osteopenia and osteoporosis may develop for several reasons, including defective calcium transport by the diseased small intestine, vitamin D deficiency, and binding of luminal calcium and magnesium to the unabsorbed dietary fatty acids. Neurological symptoms that result from hypocalcemia include motor weakness, paresthesias with sensory loss, and ataxia. <clears throat> Skin disorders including dermatitis herpetiformis is associated in 10 to 20% of patients with celiac disease. Hormonal disorders such as amenorrhea, delayed menarche, and inter, uh, infertility in women and impotence and infertility in men have been described. <clears throat> Physical examination findings may reveal the following. Abdominal examination shows a protuberant and tympanic abdomen due to distension of the intestinal loops with fluid and gas. Asides occasionally can be detected in patients with severe hypoproteinemia, evidence of weight loss, <clears throat> including muscle surrovastin or loose skin folds. Uh, orthostatic uh, hypertension, peripheral edema, uh, echematosis, hyperkeratosis of dermatitis herpetiformis, uh, helosis and glossitis, uh, evidence of peripheral neuropathy, hlostexin, and trussosin. <clears throat> and diagnosis. A small intestinal biopsy is required to establish a diagnosis of celiac disease. A biopsy should be performed when patients have symptoms and laboratory findings suggestive of nutrient malabsorption and O deficiency, as well as positive TG uh, antibody test. Since the presentation of celiac disease is often susceptible without overt evidence of malabsorption or nutrient deficiency. <clears throat> 
and lately low uh, the showed for biopsy performance in important. Uh, the diagnosis of celiac disease requires the detection of characteristic histological change of small intestinal biopsy together with a prompt clinical and histological response after the institution of a gluten-free diet. Uh, the classic change seen on duodenal yeunal biopsy <coughs> are restricted to the mucosa and enclosure. First, <coughs> Uh, an increase in the number of the in intraepithelial lymphocytes. Second, absence of a reduced head of villi, which causes a flat appearance with increased crypt cell proliferation, resulting in crypt hyperplasia, <coughs> and loss of villial structure with consequent villus, but not mucosal atrophy. Third, uh, Cup audio appearance and nuclei that are no longer oriented basally in surface epithelial cells. And was increased number of lymphocytes and plasma cells as lamina propria. And treatment approach. First of all, diet. The primary management. <clears throat> of celiac disease is dietary, but research into novel non dietary therapy is ongoing. Complete elimination of gluten containing grain products is essential to treatment. Uh, although the majority of patients with celiac disease respond to a gluten free diet, persistent recurrent symptoms affect up to 20%. <clears throat> After initial period of uh, evidence, what might be reintroduced into the diet of patient with celiac disease? This patient should be monitored carefully for recurrent symptoms, <clears throat> careful and extensive indoctrination of the patient by the physician and the dietarian is often necessary to achieve full compliance. And after diet, use corticosteroid. A small percentage of uh, percentage of patients with uh, celiac disease fail to respond to gluten-free diet. In some patients who are refractory, corticosteroid might be helpful. In patients who fail to respond to corticosteroid, other comorbid conditions such as lymphomas of the small intestine have to be ruled out. <coughs> And next disease, uh, which uh, we discuss uh, today, uh, is Whipple uh, disease. Whipple disease is chronic uh, multisystemic disease associated with diarrhea, steatorrhea, weight loss, atrogia, and central nervous system and cardiac problem, most likely caused by the gram positive bacteria, tropinema Whipple. Of note, patients with human immunodeficiency virus infection don't acquire the disease. <coughs> uh, the clinical manifestation of the disease uh, are believed to be caused by infiltration of the various body tissue by T. Whipple. The patient's immune system reacts by incorporating the organism into tissue macrophages. Uh, these macrophages can be easily observed infiltrating the tissues uh, using a conventional light microscopy. The macrophages are easily observed when periodic acid uh, shift stain is used for histological sections. <clears throat> uh, the malabsorption observed in a small bowel that is associated with condition is believed to be secondary to disruption of normal viewers in function are uh, due to infiltration of the lamina propria of the small bowel. Patient with arthritis, arthritis uh, have been found to have the organism in the synovial tissues. Uh, the organism have been detected in the heart rows of patients uh, with cardiac people uh, disease and in the CNS of patient with hem neurological 
disease. Rarely, uh, the organism can be detected in the lungs of affected patients. Uh, Weevil disease was first described by the Dr. George Weevil in 1907. Uh, the classic presentation of Weevil disease is uh, that of a wasting illness characterized by arthritis, uh, arthritis, uh, fever, and diarrhea. However, this form is rare. Lymphadenopathy may be present. Is people disease affect the small intestine that are really often is present. Uh, the onset of people disease uh, is insidious and characterized by a diarrhea, steatoria, abdominal pain, weight uh, uh, loss, uh, migratory large joint arthropathy, and fever, as well as ophthalmologist and central uh, nervous system symptoms. Dementia is a rarely late symptom and an extremely poor prognostic sign. Especially in patients who experience replace after the induction of a remission with antibiotics. Uh, approximately 90% uh, of patients with VIPO disease present with weight loss and 70% uh, of patients with VIPO disease complain of as a diarrhea of arthralgias. Uh, in uh, about three quarters of patients, the joint manifestation are followed by weight loss and diarrhea. With the mean time of for six years from onset of the joint symptoms to diagnosis of VIPO disease, Occult gastrointestinal bleeding can be found in 80% of patients with VIPO disease, but frank hematophagy in common. Cardiac involvement occurs in approximately 30% of cases. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, the diagnosis of VIPO disease is suggested by a multisystemic disease in a patient with diarrhea and steatorrhea. Tissue biopsy of the small intestine and or other organs can uh, may uh, be involved. Given the patient's symptoms in the primary approach, the presence of PAS positive macrophages containing the characteristic small bacilli is suggestive of this diagnosis. However, T weevil uh, containing macrophages can be confused with uh, PAS positive macrophages containing M ovarium complex, which may be a cause of diarrhea, is uh, anti inflammatory drugs. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, in, in uh, ADS. Uh, the presence of the two people but uh, outside of macrophages is a more important indicator of active disease uh, than is their presence with the macrophages. Two people have now been successfully grown as a culture. Approach consideration. The mainstay of medical treatment for management of VIPO disease in is antibiotic therapy. Surgery is not part of the therapy for VIPO disease. Once the diagnosis of VIPO disease is established and antibiotics are started, patient may be uh, discharged uh, for continued therapy as outpatients. Consultation with a gastroenterologist, cardiologist, rheumatologist, orthopedist, and neurosurgeon may be necessary for obtaining the appropriate tissue biopsy in selected patients. Patients with clinical weevil disease should be monitored with a polymerase chain reaction, uh, PSR because the more sensitive and specific methods to determine if they are responding to antibiotics. The people have been detected through PSR in normal saliva, gastric juice, and intestinal tissue. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, the standard initial treatment regimen is uh, there. Uh, first, intravenous on 2 gram once daily. Uh, second, uh, 2 million units of penicillin. Uh, 
uh, every four hours uh, both for uh, 14 days duration. After the initial treatment is completed, a one year of maintenance therapy is with oral double stretch, uh, trimetrop sulfamidazole twice daily. <clears throat> And next part of uh, today's lecture, uh, chronic diseases of large intestine and uh, what, uh, what uh, disease, irritable uh, bowel syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease. So short information about uh, anatomy of uh, Colon of uh, large intestine. Uh, so the large intestine is approximately uh, one and a half meter long and comprises the cecum, colon, rectum, anal, uh, canal, and anus. Uh, the structure of the large intestine is very similar to that of the small intestine, except that its mucosa is completely devoid of villi. Uh, the cecum is about uh, 6 cm long and extends downwards uh, into the appendix, a winding uh, tubular sac containing lymphoid tissue. Uh, the appendix is through to be the vestige of the red ant uh, uh, organ. Its narrow and twisted shape makes in the attractive site for the accumulation and multiplication of intestinal bacteria. Food residue starts by traveling uh, upwards through the ascending colon located on the right uh, side of the abdomen. The ascending colon bends near the liver of the right colic flexure and becomes a transverse colon passing across to the left side of the abdomen. Just above the spleen and the left uh, colic flexure. Uh, the transverse colon becomes the descending colon, which runs down the left uh, side of the abdomen. Before the next bend, the descending colon transforms into a sigmoid colon. The ascending colon, descending colon, and rectum are located in the retroperitoneum. The transverse and sigmoid colon are attached to the posterior abdominal wall by the mesocolon. Distally, the large intestine opens into the rectum, which is continued by the anal canal. Uh, the rectum forms the uh, final 20 cm of the uh, gastrointestinal tract. It is uh, continuous with the sigmoid colon and connects with the anal canal and anus. And colon function. Meals pass from the small to the large intestine within eight nine hours of digestion. The small intestine will have absorbed about uh, ninety percent of the ingested water. As the large intestine absorbs most of the remaining water as a process uh, that converts liquid uh, heme residue uh, into semi-solid stool or fats. Uh, the large intestine has three main functions. Absorption of water and electrolytes, formation and transplant of, of fetus, chemical digestion by gut uh, microbes. And what is a irritable bowel disease, IBS? is defined as a recurrent abdominal pain or average, at least one day per week in the last three months with two or more of the following, related to defecation associated with a change in frequency of stool or associated with a change in form of stool. Irritable bowel syndrome uh, is a chronic function disorders of gastrointestinal tract characterized by chronic abdominal pain and altered bowel habits in the absence of an organic disease. Irritable bowel syndrome is the most common reason to visit a gastroenterologist as the second most common reason after common flu to be absence from work. Uh, the room for criteria for the diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome requires that patient have had recurrent abdominal pain or average of last one day per week during the previous uh, three months that is associated with two or more of the following. Related to defecation, associated with a change in stool frequency, uh, 
associated with the chain is to form an appearance. <clears throat> And uh, what is a uh, subtime of uh, irritable bowel disease? Maybe with predominant constipation, maybe with predominant diarrhea, uh, maybe with mixed bowel habits, and uh, unclassified subtime. And what is it? Patient who meets diagnostic criteria for irritable bowel disease. Uh, but uh, whose bowel habits cannot accurately characterize it into one uh, of the three subtimes above. <clears throat> uh, pathophysiology. Traditional theories regarding the pathophysiology of irritable bowel syndrome may be visualized as a three-part complex of altered gastrointestinal mobility, visceral hyperalgesia, and psychopathology. More recently, it believes that components of the gut microbiota potentially influence brain morphology and function, behavior and cognition, which expand the paradigm of the gut-brain axis. Altered gastrointestinal motility includes distinct aberration in the small and large bowel motility. Uh, the myoelectric activity of the colon is composed of background slow waves with super uh, improved spike potentials. Patients who are prone to diarrhea demonstrate this alteration to a greater degree than patients who are prone to constipation. <clears throat> Small bowel dysmotility manifests is delayed meal transited patient prone to constipation and ulcerated uh, meal transit in patient prone to diarrhea. Uh, enhanced uh, preparation of normal motility and visceral pain characterizes irritable bowel syndrome. <clears throat> Uh, Retrosigmoid and small bowel ball inf uh, inflation produces <clears throat> pain and low volumes in patient that it controls. Uh, patient who are affected described by dermatomal disruption of referred pain. Association between uh, psychiatric disturbation and irritable bowel syndrome pathogenesis are not clear defined. <clears throat> and clinical manifestation. Uh, constipation result in complaints of hot stools of narrow caliber, painful or infrequent defecation, and in uh, tractability of uh, lactose. Uh, diarrhea usually is described as small volumes of loose stool with evacuation preceded by urgency of frequent defecation. Postprandial urgency is common as is alternation between constipation and diarrhea. Abdominal pain, description uh, are protein. Pain frequency diffuse without radiation. Common sites of pain include the a low abdomen, specifically the left lower quadrant, acute episodes of uh, sharp pain are often superimposed of a more constant dull ache. Meal may precipitate pain and defecation commonly improves pain. Defecation may not fully relieve pain, however. Pain from presumed gas pockets in the splenic flexion may masquerade a anterior chest pain or left upper quadrant abdominal pain. Abdominal bloating or distension. Patient frequently reports increased amount of bloating and gas. Quantitative measurement failed to support this claim. Uh, people with irritable power syndrome may manifest increased abdominal circumference throughout the day as SMs, the computer tomography scan. Clear white uh, mucosia, uh, mucorea, sorry, of uh, non-inflammatory etiology is commonly reported. <clears throat> Epidemiologic association uh, with dyspepsia, heartburn, nausea, vomiting, sexual dysfunction, 
uh, and urinary frequency and urgency have been noted. The patient with irritable bowel syndrome has the overall healthy appearances but may be tense or exhaust. Uh, the patient uh, we may present with sigmoid tenderness or a palpable sigmoid cord. And clinical presentation. Symptoms not consistent with irritable bowel syndrome should alert the clinician to the possibility of organic pathology. Inconsistent symptoms include the following onset in middle or older age, acute symptoms, progressive symptoms, nocturnal symptoms, anorexia or weight loss, fever, rectal bleeding, pain with diarrhea, steatoria, gluten intolerance. Management of irritable bowel syndrome consists primarily of providing psychological support and recommending dietary measures. Pharmacological treatment is adjuvantive and should be directed to symptoms such as mobilization of persistent visceral hyperalgesia. Fiber supplementation may improve symptoms of constipation and diarrhea in developed individualize the treatment because a few patients experience exacerbated bloating and distension with a high fever diet. Pro probiotics are very interesting for treatment symptoms. But it is unclear for which patient probiotics are helpful and what form a uh, dose combination of straight. <clears throat> Uh, the 20 year nine American colleague of gastroenterologist's position statement concluded that psychological intervention, cognitive behavior therapy, dynamic psychotherapy, and hypnotherapy are more effective than placebo. Frequent visits with a clinician enhance the patient provider relationship, especially in patients who were recently diagnosed with irritable bowel disease. With scan become less frequent and patients are educated and are reassured. Agents used for the management of symptoms uh, in irritable disease include anticholinergetics, anti-DRLs, uh, uh, anti antidepressants, prokinetic agents, bulk forming uh, laxatives, serotonin receptor antagonist, chloride channel activator, and uh, guanylate silas C agonists. And next disease is inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, inflammatory bowel disease, ABD, is an idiopathic disease caused by a dysregulated immune response to host intestinal microflora. Uh, the two main types of inflammatory bowel disease are ulcerative colitis, which is limited to the colon mucosa, and Crohn's disease, which can affect any segment of the gastrointestinal tract from the mouth or to the anus, involves a uh, skip lesion and transmural. Uh, three characteristics define the etiology of inflammatory bowel disease. Genetic predisposition, uh, an altered uh, dysregulated uh, immune response, and altered uh, response to gut uh, microorganism. The manifestation of inflammatory bowel disease generally depends on the area of the intestinal tract involved. Uh, the commonly experienced uh, symptoms of Crohn's disease include recurrent abdominal pain and diarrhea. Sometimes the diagnosis may be delayed uh, by several months for a few uh, uh, years as these symptoms are not specific for inflammatory bowel disease. Patients with inflammatory bowel disease may have symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome with cramping, irregular bowel habits, and message, passage of mucus without blood of pus. <clears throat> Uh, systemic symptoms are common in inflammatory bowel disease and include weight loss, fever, sweets, malaysia, arthritis. A low-grade fever may be the first warning uh, scene of a flare. 
A patient are commonly fatigued, which is often related to the pain, inflammation, and anemia that accompany disease activity. Recurrences may occur with emotional stress, infection, or other acute illnesses, pregnancy, dietary problems, use of cathartics or antibodies, or adro enhanced therapy. Uh, the World Gastroenterology Organization uh, indicates the following symptoms may be associated with inflammatory damage in the digestive tract. Diarrhea, mucus or blood may be present in the stool, can occur at night, incontinence may occur. Constipation, they, uh, this may be primary symptom in ulcerative colitis when the disease is limited to the rectum. Obstipation may occur and may proceed to bowel obstruction. Both moment abnormalities may pain or rectal bleeding may be present as well as severe urgency and tenesmus. Abdominal cramping and pain commonly present in the right lower quadrant is a Crohn's disease. Oco uh, periumbilicali or the left lower quadrant in moderate uh, to severe ulcerative colitis. Nausea and vomiting occur more often in Crohn's disease than ulcerative colitis. And note, specific ulcerative colitis was described in 1875 by two English physicians, Wilkes and Moxon, who distinguished it from diarrheal disease caused by infections agents. The common and pathway ulceration collides inflammation of the mucosa of the intestinal tract, causing ulceration, edema, bleeding, and fluid and electrolytes loss. In several studies, genetic factors appear to influence the risk of inflammatory bowel disease by causing a disruption of epithelial barrier, integrity, deficits in autophagy, uh, deficiencies in innate pattern recognition receptor and problem with lymphocyte differentiation, especially in Crohn's disease. Inflammatory mediators have been identified in inflammatory bowel disease, and considerable evidence suggested that this mediator plays an important role in pathological and clinical characteristics of these disorders. Cytokines, which are released by macrophages in response to various antigenic stimuli, bind to present receptor and produce autocrine, paracrine, and endocrine effects. <coughs> uh, cytokine differentiated lymphocytes into different types of T cells. Uh, in ulcerative colitis, inflammation begins in the rectum and extends proximally in an uninterrupted fashion to the proximal colon and could eventually involve the entire length of the large intestine. <clears throat> and what about symptoms? Uh, the my symptoms of ulcerative colitis are diarrhea, rectal bleeding, tenesmus, passage of mucus, or crampy abdominal pain. The severity of symptoms correlate with the act extent of disease. Although ulcerative colitis can present actually, symptoms usually have been present for weeks to months. Occasionally, diarrhea and bleeding are so intermittent and mild that the patient doesn't seek medical attention. A patient with proctitis usually pass fresh blood or blood-stained mucus as a mix with stool or street onto the surface of a normal or hot stool. They also have tenesmus of urgency with a feeling of incomplete evacuation, but rarely have abdominal pain. <clears throat> uh, with proctitis or prostosigmoiditis, proximal transit slows, which may account for the constipation commonly seen in patients with distal disease. When the disease extends beyond the rectum, blood is usually mixed with stool or grossly bloody diarrhea may be noted. Colonic motility is altered when inflammation is rapid transit through the inflammate intestine. Uh, when the disease is severe, patient pass a liquid stool containing blood pass and fecal matter. The area is often nocturnal or opus prandial. 
also severe pain in not a prominent symptom. Some patients with active disease may experience lower abdominal discomfort or mild central abdominal cramping. Severe cramping and abdominal pain can occur with severe attack <clears throat> of the disease. Other symptoms is moderate to severe disease include anorexia, nausea, vomiting, fever, and weight loss. Physical signs of proctitis include tender, anal canal, and blood of rectal examination. With more extensive disease, patients have tenderness to palpitation directly over the colon. Patients with a toxic colitis have severe pain and bleeding, and those with megacolon have hepatic tympani. Both may have scenes of peritone peritonitis uh, is a perforation has occurred. Uh, laboratory endoscopic and radiographic future. Active disease can be associated with the rice acute phase re reactants, lately count and erythrocyte sedimentation and decrease in hemoglobin. Fecal lactoferrin, a glycoprotein present is activated neutrophils is a highly sensitive <coughs> and specific marker for detecting intestinal inflammation. Fecal calprotectin uh, is present in neutrophils and monocytes and level correlate with uh, uh, histological inflammation, predicolapsis and detect uh, Charging. Um, both fecal octoferrin and calprotectin are becoming an integral part of inflammatory bowel disease in management and are used frequently to rule out active inflammation versus symptom of irritable bowel <clears throat> of bacterial overgrowth. In severely ill patient, the serum albumin level will fall rather quickly. Leukocytes may be present, but is not specific indication of disease activity. Proctitis or proctosigmoiditis rarely cause a rise is a CRP. <clears throat> uh, sigmoidoscopy is used to access disease activity and usually performed before treatment. Is, uh, if the patient is not having acute uh, flay, colonoscopy is used to access uh, uh, disease extent and activity. <coughs> and Crohn's disease. Crohn disease was first described in 1932 by three doctor, <clears throat> doctors Buriel Crohn, uh, Leon uh, Kinsberg, and Gordon Oprahem. At the time, any disease in the small intestine was uh, thought to be intestinal tuberculosis. Crohn disease can affect any portion of the gastrointestinal tract from the mouth to the anus and causes. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, three pattern of involvement, inflammatory disease, uh, stricture, and fistulas. <coughs> uh, this disease consists of segmental involvement by non specific granular to the inflammatory process. The most important pathological feature of Crohn disease is that it is transmural involvement all lie of the bowel, not just the mucosa and the uh, submucosa, which is characteristic of ulcerative collectives. Furthermore, Crohn disease is discontinuous with skip areas <coughs> interspersed uh, between two or more involved areas. Uh, late in the disease, the mucosa develops a cobblestone appearance which result from deep longitudinal ulceration interweight with interventing normal mucosa. Diarrhea, cramping, and abdominal pain are common symptoms of Crohn disease in all of the above locations. Except for the gastroduodenal region, in which anorexia, nausea, and vomiting are more common. Rectal sparing is a typical but not constant feature. 
future of Crohn disease. Mm -hmm. However, on rectal complications are common. Much less commonly, Crohn disease involves a more proximal part of the gastrointestinal tract, including the mouth, tongue, esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. The incidence of gallstone and kidney stones increase in Crohn disease because of malabsorption of fat and bile salts. Gallstone are found because of uh, increased cholesterol uh, concentration in the bile, which is caused by reduced bile salt pool. Uh, symptoms of uh, Crohn disease. Also, Crohn disease usually presents a cage of chronic bowel inflammation. The inflammatory process involves towards one or two patterns of disease. A fibrocenol thick obstruction pattern or penetric fissures pattern, each with different treatments and prognosis. Uh, the size of uh, disease influence clinical manifestation. Ileocolitis. Because uh, the most common size of inflammation is a terminal idiom, the usual presentation of ileocolitis is a chronic history of recurrent episodes of right lower quadrant pain and diarrhea. Sometimes the initial presentation mimics acute appendicitis with a pronounced right over quadrant pain, a palpable mass, fever, and leukocytosis. Pain is usually colicky, is preceded and is relieved by defecation. Low-grade fever is usually known. High speaking fever suggests intra-abdominal abscess formation. Weight loss is common, typically 10 to 20 percent of body weight, and develops as a consequence of diarrhea, anorexia, and fever of eating. Yeuna uh, ileitis. Extensive inflammatory disease associated with a loss of digestive and absorptive surface resulting in malabsorption and steatorrhea. Uh, nutritional deficiencies can also result from poor intake and enteric losses of protein and other nutrients. Intestinal malabsorption can cause anemia, hypoalbuminemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesiemia, coagulopathy, and hyperoxyuria with nephrolytiasis in patients with an attacked colon. Many patients need to oral and often intravenous iron. Vertebral fractures are caused by a combination of vitamin D deficiency, hypokalemia, and prolonged corticosteroid use. Diarrhea is characteristic of active disease. In causes include first bacterial overgrowth and obstructive studies of uh, fistulization, second, by acid malabsorption due to uh, disease of resected terminal ileum, and third, intestinal inflammation with decreased water absorption and increased secretion of electrolytes. Uh, and uh, next uh, manifestation of uh, Crohn disease, colitis and perianal disease. Patient with colitis present with a uh, low-grade fever, small eyes, diarrhea, crampy abdominal pain, and sometimes hematohesia. Uh, gross bleeding is not as common as in ulcerative colitis and it appears about one half of patients with exclusively colonic disease. And uh, diagnostic. Uh, laboratory study results are generally non specific but may be helpful in supporting the diagnosis and managing of uh, the disease. So, logical studies are sometimes used to facilitate differentiation of Crohn disease from ulcerative colitis of inflammatory bowel disease or undetermined time. And Capsule endoscopy is sensitive for early mucosal inflammation, but it can only detect mucosal change, whereas MRI and intestinal ultrasonography are able to review transmural inflammation as well as identify complications. Ultrasonography, uh, CT uh, scanning, and MRI can determine pre treatment and post-treatment disease activity or identify disease complications. Endoscopic features of Crohn disease include rectal sparing, aftose, ulceration, fistula, and skin lesion. 
Colonoscopy allows examination and biopsy of mass lesion obstruction biopsy of the thermal ileum. Upper endoscopy is useful in diagnosis gastrointestinal involvement in patient with upper tract uh, symptom. Ileal or conic stricture may be dilated with balance induced through the colonoscopic stricture. Less than 4 cm in length, enzymes and anastomotic sites respond better to endoscopic dilatation. The perforation rate is as high as 10%. Most endoscopists dilate on the fibrotic structures and not those associated with active inflammation. Virus capsule endoscopy allows direct visualization of the entire small bowel mucosa. And plain uh, radiography or computer tomography scanning of the abdomen can used to access for bowel obstruction. These studies can also be used to assess the pelvis or the presence of any intra-abdominal abscesses. Uh, in uh, is uh, in uh, Crohn's disease, early radiographic findings in the small bowel include stinking folds and aftose ulceration, cobblestoning from longitudinal and transverse ulceration most frequently involves the small bowel. In more advanced uh, uh, disease structure, fistula, inflammatory masses, and abscesses may be detected. The earliest microscopic findings of colonic um, Crohn disease are aptosis ulcers. These small ulcers are often multiplied and separated by normal intervening mucosa. And what about the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease? Treatment is made of the basic of the disease site, pattern, activity, and severity. The general goals of treatment as a follows. To achieve the best possible clinical, laboratory, and histological control of the inflammatory disease with least adverse effect from medication. To permit the patient to function as normally as possible in children to promote growth with adequate nutrition. And what is drugs? Uh, five ASA agents. These agents are effective uh, as inducing and maintaining permission ulcerative colitis. They may have a limited role in inducing remission in Crohn disease, but no clear role in maintenance of uh, Crohn disease. Newer Sulfur-free amino salicylate preparation deliver increased amount of the pharmacological active ingredients of sulfur salazine uh, to the site of active bowel disease with a bio-limited systemic toxicity. toxicity. Uh, there are four main uh, five amino salicylic acid drugs. Uh, Bausazolid, mesalamine, uh, Olsalazine, Sulfasalazine. Next, glucocorticosteroid. Uh, the majority of patients with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis benefits from oral or parenteral glucocorticosteroids. <clears throat> uh, prednisolone is usually started at dose of 40-60 mg a day for active ulcerative colitis uh, that is uh, unresponsive to 5-ASA therapy. Parenteral glucocorticosteroid may be administered as hydrocorticosteroid 300 mg a day or methylprednisolone 46 mg a day. A new glucocorticosteroid for ulcerative colitis, budesonide, is released entry in the colon and has minimal no glucocorticosteroid side effect. Uh, the dose is 9 mg a day for 8 weeks and no type is required. Antibiotics have no role in treatment of active ulcerative colitis, usually respond to treatment with metronidazole and ociprofloxacin. Metronidazone is effective in, uh, is effective in active inflammatory, fistulizing, and perianal Crohn disease <coughs> and may prevent recurrence after uh, ileal resection. Uh, the most 
effective dose is 15-20 mg a kilogram per day in three divided doses is usually continued for several months. And ciprofloxacin, uh, three, uh, sorry, 500 mg bit, uh, is also beneficial for inflammatory, perianal, and fistulizing uh, Crohn disease, but has been associated with tendinitis and tendon uh, disruption. Uh, both ciprofloxacin and metronidazole antibiotics can be used only for a short period of time due to side effects. Uh, next, azatioprin and uh, six mer mercataprinol and metatrixat. <clears throat> uh, this variant of drugs are pure in analogy use concomitantly with biological therapy, all less often, and so role uh, and and the sole immunosuppressant. And uh, azatioprin is rapidly absorbed and converted to 6MP uh, with a 10 metabolized reactive and products, uh, tiozionic acid, and inhibitor of purine ribonucleotide synthesis and cell proliferation. And metatrexant inhibits dehydrofolate reductase, resulting in empire DNA synthetized additional anti inflammatory proteins properties can be related to decreasing the production of uh, interleukin-1 is used most on concomitantly with biological <clears throat> therapy to decrease antibody formation and improve disease response. Intramuscular of subcutaneous doses range from 16 to 20 5 mg a week. Potential toxicities include leukopenia like and hepatic fibrosis, necessitating periodic accumulation of uh, CBS and liver and device. And cyclophoc uh, cyclosporin uh, is lip Ophilic peptide with inhibitor effects of both the cellular and human immune system. Uh, CS uh, a block the production of interleukin 2 to help more, uh, help lymphocytes. Uh, Cyclosporin uh, bind to cyclophilin, and this complex inhibits um, uh, calcineurin as the plasmic phosphatase enzyme enzyme involved in the activation of T cells. Uh, CSL also indirectly inhibits the cells function by blocking health cell cells. CSS has a more rapid onset of action than 6MP and azathioprine. And what about those uh, 2 4 mg a day per uh, uh, milligram a kilogram per day in severe? <clears throat> ultra uh, ulcerative colitis that is refractory to uh, leukocorticosteroid with uh, uh, eighty two uh, percent of patient responding. And biologic therapy is now commonly given as initial therapy for patients with moderate to severe Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis. Patients who respond to biological therapies enjoy improvement in clinical symptoms, a better quality of life, less disability, fatigue, depression, and fever uh, surgery, and hospitalization. And uh, you may see, sorry variant of uh, biological therapy for ulcerative colitis, for Crohn disease, uh, uh, drug, first of all, yeah, drug of uh, class mm, uh, three variant and uh, variant for ulcerative colitis and Crohn disease. <clears throat> Uh, next, anti-TNF therapy is biological therapy, uh, tumor necrosis factor, again, inflammatory cytokine and mediator of intestinal inflammation is expressed prominently in inflammatory bowel disease. Patients likely to benefit from anti-TNF therapy include the following. Patients who have moderate to severe uh, debit 
debilitating symptoms of Crohn's disease who have documented effective inflammation or who are dependent on corticosteroid and unable to type these agents without return of symptoms and patients who don't show evidence of active bowel infection and cause of uh, gastrointestinal symptoms. And anti-integrins. <clears throat> anti-integrins are expressed of the cell surface of leukocytes and serve as mediator of leukocytes adhesion to vascular endothelium. And what is the variant of anti-integrins? Natalizumab, Vedozalimab, uh, Ustekinumab. And pharmacological therapy for diarrhea, uh, a patient with a terminal iliac disease of previous terminal iliac resection may not absorb bowel acid normally, and this abnormality can lead to secretory diarrhea in the colon. This patient may benefit from the acid uh, sequestrant, those who uh, have extensive ileal disease or have undergone resection of more than uh, 100 cm of the ileum have de defective bile salt absorption and develop steatorrhea. Uh, they benefit from a low fat diet and medium chain triglyceride preparation, bile sequestrant, exacerbating this type of diarrhea. An abdominal crisis may be reduced with antispam agents such as pro uh, pantelin uh, dicyclamine and hyaciamine. And for chronic diarrhea and chronic disease, respond well to anterior agents such as lopiramid, bile acid blinds, uh, diphenoxylate with atropine, and tincture of optum. And surgical treatment, uh, nearly one uh, half of patients with extensive chronic ulcerative colitis undergo surgery within the first 10 years of their illness. Because ulcerative colitis is a mucosal disease, the rectal mucosa can be dissected and removed down the main line of anus of about 2 cm proximal to the lung mark. The ileum is fashioned in the pouch that serves as neorectum. And what is maybe complication of uh, inflammatory bowel disease? Uh, intestinal complication uh, and associated yeah, uh, hemorrhage, perforation, structure, and fistula, and uh, malignancy. Maybe extrastinal complication, and uh, what is it? Maybe osteoporosis, maybe hypercoagulability, uh, uh, thromboembolism, anemia, gallstone disease, uh, um, sorry, uh, gall bladder disease, uh, primary uh, um, scrolls. Scleralizing phalangitis, uh, aptos, ulcer, ulcers, arthritis, irrititis, and uh, episcleritis, skin complication. So, dear student, uh, thank you for your attention. If you have a question, please uh, write your question under the video. And please don't forget to uh, uh, leave your name, your name and group under the video. So, thank you again and uh, see you on next uh, Thursday. Goodbye.